Hello everyone, I hope you are fit and fine. Today, in this video session, we are going to discuss about a very interesting story, the souvenir. The souvenir is a story written by Lakshman Londe. The original story is in Marathi, named Bhet, which was later translated in English. Souvenir means something that you bring back for other people when you have been on holiday or vacation. Here also we have one girl whose name is Sili and she is going on moon for her holidays. So without wasting the time, let's see what she would like to share with us. So let's see the first paragraph here that with the tip of her nose pressed to the window of the space shuttle. It means this is a vehicle in which people travel into space and back again. You all know it very well the meaning of space shuttle. Sili is now traveling by the space shuttle. Sili sat gazing at the view outside for so long. Still she didn't seem to be contented. Contented means satisfied. It means Sili is now looking outside from the window of the space shuttle. And of course this is very astonished kind of the experience for her. Because now she is able to see the world which is totally new for her. This is an imaginary story which was written by Lakshman Lundey which belongs to the future because in the future maybe it's possible to go on the moon for the vacation. This is a beautiful concept which was captured by the writer Lakshman Londe. So let's see now she didn't seem to be contented. It means due to the scenes or due to the views which Sally was just saw, she was not contented. She would like to see more. She had read the description of this view several times before and had seen this scene on the video too. Because we are the ordinary people. It means it's not possible for everyone to go on the moon. But Sally was fortunate because she got the chance to go to the moon for her holidays and of course before that she had heard so many things about the space so many things about the moon and of course maybe she had seen such kind of the videos too but this was different because reading the description was one thing watching the pictures and videos captured by the camera was another so here we have the word captured. Captured means here the meaning is recorded. But getting an opportunity to view that amazing panorama with your own eyes being present physically right in the midst of it was indeed an out of the world experience. So this is something new. This is something innovative. Right? Because everyone is not getting the same chance. Everyone is not getting the chance to go on the moon. So here she would like to tell us that watching the pictures and videos that is different kind of the thing. And of course that is totally different than the real panorama of your panorama. Panorama means a very wide view. Wide view of the space. Aakho ke saamne space dekhna ke saamne stars dekhna moon dekhna that is totally different usse hum shabdo mein bayan nahi kar sakte because that is totally new kind of the experience for her and she is also astonished by seeing these things in front of her eyes so she was very fortunate so let's see that no matter how long she sat gazing her awe and wonder did not seem to abate it means wo kitna bhi dekhe कितनी भी कोशिश कर ले उन चीजों को अपनी आंखों में समाने की 
but of course that was one of the magical moment for her and here we have one new word a bit a bit means become less it means jitna bhi wo dekhti thi bahar use kam hi lagta tha because this is something which is like the magic right so let's see the earth gradually appeared to get smaller and smaller in the sky jaise jaise wo unchai pe chale gaye जैसे जैसे उनका स्पेस शटल आगे बढ़ते चला गया द अर्थ बिकम्स गेट स्मॉलर एंड स्मॉलर एंड ग्रेजुअली इट एपियर्ड सो स्मॉल द अच्योर ब्लू स्काई वॉज नाउ लुकिंग जेट ब्लैक अच्योर हियर ब्राइट ब्लू इट द कलर ऑफ द ब्लू स्काई वॉज नाउ लुकिंग जेट ब्लैक मीन्स एवरीथिंग इज नाउ लुक्स जेट ब्लैक सडनली द कलर ऑफ द स्काई इज चेंज जैसे जैसे वो ऊंचाई पे चले गए तो वैसे जो स्काई का ब्लू कलर है वो ब्लैक में बदल गया द क्लाउड्स हैड डिसपियर्ड इट मीन्स हियर इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वेन द रीच देर द क्लाउड्स हैड डिसपियर्ड वो क्लाउड्स से भी आगे निकल गए द स्टार्स वेर शाइनिंग ब्राइट बिकॉज नाउ दे वेर क्लोजर टू दी स्टार्स एंड नाउ स्टार्स वेर शाइनिंग ब्राइट एंड of course this is very much important here that this is an imaginary story but of course just imagine that if you got the chance to go to the moon how do you feel so that experience will be definitely a magical one so let's see what happened next so this is just imaginary picture of the space shuttle this is not actually imaginary but this is the real picture of the space shuttle through which you can go to the moon or to any one of the planet so here we have the next paragraph that this trip to the moon was exorbitantly expensive but still silas mother had sent her on the trip so here it is very important that exorbitantly means excessively expensive excessively expensive means is trip ka jo kharcha tha wo bahut zyada tha lekin phir bhi saili ki mother ne usko is trip pe bheja tha in our childhood we could not even think of such long distance trips so of course this story belongs to the future and of course in our childhood or in our age also we could not even think of such long distance trips in hum itni dur tak holiday ke liye jaane ke soch bhi nahi sakte the longest trip meant going to europe if you are getting this opportunity make the most make the most of it said mummy it means in the age of her mummy she told her that going for the longest trip meant what that going to europe लंबे ट्रिप के लिए जाना मतलब कहाँ पे जाना यूरोप के लिए जाना एंड ऑफ कोर्स इफ यू आर गेटिंग द चांस टू गो देर सो यू मेक द मोस्ट ओ मम्मी नेहा ग्रैंड मदर वो सेइंग दैट इन देयर चाइल्डहुड द लॉन्गेस्ट ट्रिप फॉर स्कूल चिल्ड्रन यूज टू बी ओनली अप टू दिल्ली और कोलकाता सो हियर दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ नेहा ग्रैंड मदर Neha this is the name of the friend of Sally and her grandmother told her that unke zamane mein longest trip kaun si hoti thi school ke bachchon ke liye delhi jana ya fir kolkata jana it seems so funny isn't it so of course this is a funny kind of a thing for Sally because why funny because it's very clear that Sally got the opportunity to go to moon and now this is the longest trip ever said sai laughing wo haste haste boli ki ye bahut funny kind of the incident was there remembering the incident made her laugh even now now the shuttle was getting closer and closer to the moon shuttle aage badhte chala gaya aage badhte chale chala gaya aur wo moon ke nazdik pahunch gaye then it started orbiting the moon orbiting means moving around another object generally a star or planet the space shuttles are they are actually orbiting they are moving around the other planets to reach there the light and darkness 
followed each other in quick succession. Now they are feeling the light and darkness at the same time. Why? Because now their speed is too much. They are orbiting. Right? They are around the moon. And now they are going to land on the moon. And due to that, they are feeling the light and dark at the same time. In the each other in quick succession. Ek dusre ke piche, unhe light ka bhi ahsas ho raha tha. Aur darkness ka bhi ahsas hone laga tha. The doom shaped settlements on the moon which resembled the igloos of the Eskimos were now visible. So dome shaped settlements. It means maybe you have heard about it. That is igloos houses. Right? Eskimos. Igloos. These are the names of their houses. Eskimos. Right? So these are the people whose houses were dome shaped. And now they are able to see the moon which resemble the igloos of the Eskimos were now visible and of course now they are going to land on the moon जैसे ही moon पास आते चला गया now they are going to land on it तब उने igloos यानि जो houses से doom shaped वो उने दिखाई देने लगे right and it is assumed here that now on the moon we have the human settlements यानि वहाँ पे पहले से ही इंसान रह रहे हैं सो दैट इज द थिंग व्हिच यू हैव टू इमेजिन हियर सो लेट्स सी व्हाट हैपन सो दिस इज जस्ट द इमेजिनरी वीडियो ऑफ द स्पेस शटल और द ऑर्बिटिंग यू कैन सी हियर द स्पेस शटल हु इज इन रैपिड स्पीड ऑर्बिटिंग टू द प्लैनेट सो लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट पार्ट हियर दैट इज आफ्टर सम टाइम Silas shuttle made a slow measured and safe landing on the moon. Measured means steady and firm. Now this space shuttle made a slow measured and safe landing on the moon. Unka space shuttle moon pe safely land ho gaya. The door of the shuttle was opened and the children were escorted through an airtight tunnel to the settlement at the Neil Armstrong base. Here you have to remember that where they are going now, they are going towards the Neil Armstrong base. That is the place on the moon. And of course, they are going through an airtight tunnel. That is the place which is having an airtight tunnel. टनल टनल जैसा कुछ है उसमें से वो स्कॉटेड स्कॉटेड मींस मूव फॉरवर्ड विद गाइडेंस ऑफ समवन तो वहां पे शायद किसी ने उन्हें रिसीव किया होगा और वो उन्हें कहां पे लेके जा रहे हैं दे आर गोइंग टुवर्ड्स द नील आर्मस्ट्रांग बेस द रिसेप्शनिस्ट एट द एंट्रेंस टू द बेस गिव सम इंस्ट्रक्शंस एट द वेरी आउटसेट रिसेप्शनिस्ट ऑन द एंट्रेंस यानी नील आर्मस्ट्रॉन्ग बेस की जो रिसेप्शनिस्ट हैं तो उन्होंने उनको कुछ इंस्ट्रक्शंस दिए शी सेड टू देम आई वेलकम यू ऑल द नील आर्मस्ट्रॉन्ग बेस टू मेक यू स्टे ऑन द मून प्लेसेंट एंड कंफर्टेबल आई वुड लाइक यू टू टेक सर्टेन प्रिकॉशंस सो व्हाट शी सेड दैट शी वुड लाइक टू वेलकम देम ऑल एंड शी इज एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट ऑल देयर जर्नी विल बी सेफ एंड हेल्दी हियर To make you stay on the moon pleasant. Pleasant means उनका जो यहाँ पे वो जो जितने दिन रहने वाले हैं तो वो सारा वक्त अच्छा बीते ऐसी वो कामना कर रही है। I would like to sorry I would like you to take certain precautions. Precautions means steps taken in advance to prevent something dangerous or unpleasant. So of course we need to take the precautions because we are not on the earth, right? We are on the moon now. So all the children they need to follow some of the rules and they need to take the precautions because that is very important because that is the moon and to live on the moon that is totally different kind of the experience for the human being so listen carefully to my instructions and please follow them during your stay you know that the gravitational force of the moon is one of six that of the earth we all know it very well because you have learned these things in your science, right?
right in your science subject that the gravitational force of the moon is one of six that of the earth in the human settlements on the moon a gravitational force equivalent to that of the earth has been artificially maintained so we all know it very well that due to the gravitational force it's not possible to walk like the earth is this a hum जमीन पे चलते हैं अर्थ की उसी तरह से हम मून पे चल नहीं सकते बिकॉज द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज वन ऑफ सिक्स इट मीन्स हम वहाँ पे तैरते हैं इट मीन्स एक्चुअली वी आर फ्लाइंग राइट बिकॉज द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज वन ऑफ सिक्स सो वी नीड टू मेंटेन द आर्टिफिशियल काइंड ऑफ द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स But outside those settlements, the gravitational force of the moon is at work. You will have to be extremely careful when you roam around there. So she gave them important instructions. Who gave them? Receptionist of the Neil Armstrong base. She gave them important instruction to live on the moon or to the things which are very important to follow. Let's see. What she told them that whenever they they will roam here and there, that time they need to be careful, extremely careful, because gravitational force is at work whenever they were outside the settlements. So it's very important that this story is an imaginary story, and all things were imagined by the Sally and their friends. So let's see. Here now they were on the moon, and this is just the imaginary picture of gravitational force. Due to gravitational force on the moon, right, it's not possible to still on the place, right. And of course, you need to wear space suit, right. That is very important kind of a thing is there. And to tell you that the second point to remember. is related to shopping on the moon so it is also a good kind of a thing now they can do the shopping on the moon it means like the earth we have the shopping malls there right so many marts were there so many things were there so let's see you all must be interested in carrying souvenirs back home from the moon So she told them that of course, whenever we went somewhere for our vacations or holidays, we bring back so many things, right, for our memory. So these things created our memories, right. So of course, you must, they all must be interested in carrying souvenirs back home from the moon. Please buy the articles only from the shops which are inside the dome, dome-shaped settlements. there you will be assured of genuine articles so whenever articles here the meaning is very clear that articles means whatever the things they would like to buy on the moon yani moon pe ja ke wo jo kuch bhi kharidna chahte hain to kahan par se kharide the dome shaped settlements jahan pe jo shops hain to unhi shops mein se kharide why the reason is there there you will be assured of genuine articles वहाँ पे आपको जो ओरिजिनल चीज़ें हैं तो कहाँ पे मिलेंगी वहीं पे मिलेंगी डू नॉट बाय एनीथिंग फ्रॉम द अनऑथोराइज शॉप्स आउटसाइड द सेटलमेंट सो हियर शी गिव द इम्पॉर्टेंट एडवाइस टू देम दैट डोंट बाय एनीथिंग फ्रॉम द अनऑथोराइज शॉप्स आउटसाइड द सेटलमेंट अनऑथोराइज नॉट हैविंग ऑथेंटिक लाइसेंस तो कुछ ऐसे भी शॉप्स वहाँ पे हैं कि जो अन ऑथोराइज हैं यानी उनको किसी भी तरह का कोई लाइसेंस नहीं है या फिर परमिशन नहीं है सो शी टोल देम टू परचेस ऑल द आर्टिकल्स ऑल द ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑल द थिंग्स दे वुड लाइक टू परचेस फ्रॉम द ऑथेंटिक शॉप्स एंड शी टोल देम आई विश अ वेरी हैप्पी एंड प्लीज स्टे ऑन द मून सो अफकोर्स शी ग्रीटेड देम with this line that i wish you a very happy and pleasant stay on the moon so here i would like to conclude that here we have one girl who is going on the moon for her vacation though the 
दो दी कॉस्ट ऑफ दिस हॉलीडे इज सो मच एक्सेसिव कॉस्ट इज देर बट स्टिल हर मदर स्टिल हर मदर सेंड हर ऑन द मून बिकॉज इन हर एज इन हर चाइल्डहुड शी डिडेंट गेट द चांस टू गो समेयर लाइक दिस राइट बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट दिस इज द लॉन्गेस्ट ट्रिप एवर राइट सो अफकोर्स हियर वी गॉट द इंटरेस्टिंग काइंड ऑफ द डिटेल्स of the sailing trip on the moon i hope you understood the story till here the remaining part of the story we will cover in the next session so thank you everyone stay home stay safe stay tuned